for by fire yeah. and by his sword yeah. will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So when Christ come back, he's pleading with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. I hope you're not going to try to find yourself on the wrong side because you're not going to win. But keep going. That's God's word. Now, we have a lot of uh, for family you. here. He and see, look, the crab in the barrel affect that full, full flourishing here. The destruction of our people to go against our own. I got one for you. Go ahead, bring it out. Second Ezra chapter 6, 15, verse 36. Bring it out. Behold the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Yahweh Isis, I am counselor of the people. So when I'm speaking in Hebrew, I want to make it clear to you that I try the tribulation. What's beyond magic? Now your pastors will teach us to be passive. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord is going to do what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So when God's chosen people left out of Egypt, because first of all, they went, they walked into Egypt. This is Israel walking into Egypt, right? The second time they went out of Egypt through the Red Sea with Moses, right? He opened it up. They walked out. But God said that you're going to go back into Egypt again with ships. So Egypt was something that you walked out and walked into. But the Bible is going to explain what the word Egypt is, what it's synonymous for, because something that we're not taught. Let me get the uh, precept, Deuteronomy gotcha. 5 and 6. Deuteronomy 5 and 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. We came out of the house of Egypt, meaning the house of bondage, slavery, captivity. Now tell me, did this happen to the so-called black man, Hispanic Native Americans, Deuteronomy 28, 68 again? Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Remember, Egypt is synonymous for bondage or slavery, captivity, right? Now let's see if the Bible. The bondage or slavery. Go ahead. Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, which is the house of bondage. The house of bondage. Again, the Bible is repeating itself. Egypt is synonymous with house of bondage. What we have been taught, my brothers, my sisters, we've been lied to for 400 something years here today. Today is 2020, and I'm going to show you out of the Bible what they're not going to do in church. Write this stuff down. Ask your pastors. What are we talking about here? Check this out. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Going back into Egypt, bondage, slavery, right? Egypt. Again with ships. Went with ships. Who went into bondage with ships? Keep that on your mind. Let's keep reading because we're going to read the Bible. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just like I'm telling you. Thou shalt see it no more again. When you get on them ships, you're not going to see that land again. You're not going to see your homeland again. We're and, still here today. And there ye shall be and, sold. And there, when you get off them ships, and there, and there, ye shall be sold. What happened to us when we got off them ships? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women. This is the Bible. This is God's word, not mine, so don't get mad at me. God said you're going to be sold into your enemies. And it's point blank, period. You can see it plain as day. Mm -hmm. Not your friends. Never have been. God said this was going to happen to his chosen people. But why did this happen now? Why is the question. Let's go Deuteronomy 28, 15. This book of Deuteronomy is the most important book to identify who God's chosen people are today. Because these people are lost. They hate each other, and they love everybody else. And they have no inclination or no reason or feeling or there's no we have not even consi considered who we are as people we call ourselves black and we run with it oh i'm black i'm black but we're not no color we're not a crayon we're more than that you're god's chosen people but bring it out deuteronomy 28 and 15 but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses That's shall it. come upon thee. 
So what we have not been taught and what's been kept from us for over 400 years and what you're learning today, whether you believe me or not, it's not up to me. You can walk away, just go. But according to the Bible, we are the same people that God made a covenant with. At the bottom of the Mount Sinai with Moses, he was talking to us. We are the descendants of them people that went through the Red Sea with Moses, yeah, called the biblical Israelites. Because what? We descend, we descend from Abraham. God chose Abraham. Then he went to Isaac. God. Then God went to Jacob. That's he right. He didn't choose Esau. And from Jacob, he had his name changed to Israel because he wrestled with the angel all night. And when he got his name changed to Israel, he had 12 sons. And them promises that God made that covenant, it went down to these people, the children of Israel. God. And today they are called blacks Negroes. or Negroes or colored or African Americans or all these different titles uh, and stuff. All the way down Indian, West Indians, Haitian, Mexican. Yeah, Puerto Rican, Mexican, oh, all of that. Bro. You're not going to find them names in the Bible. It's talking about you. Check out this. Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is going to tell you what was going to happen to us while we don't know who we are today. Check this out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. God said you're going to be discontinued from your heritage. What was your heritage before 1619? I want to hear you say your name. Your name is Toby. What's your name? Gunter. What's your name? Toby. Hi. Say it again. Say it louder so they all can hear you. What's your name? Toby. What do we used to dress like? What do we eat? Who knows this? What did we call ourselves? What? Yeah. What, what did we call ourselves? Did we walk around language? calling ourselves black? We blacks. <laughs> What was our language? Who was we before 1619? Mm -hmm. Greatest kept secret in the world. Keep going. Huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. Once again, this is the Bible. We're not writing this. This was already written. This is what they're not going to tell you in church. God said that you're going to serve your enemies in a land that you don't even know. After you take away your heritage. Mm -hmm. Who don't know who they are and who went to serve their enemies in a land they didn't know. And then on top of that, they went there by slave ships. Right. The whole world didn't know what this land was. They called it the New World. Bring it out. Yeah. Well, right. Christopher Columbus called America the New World. You so-called, so-called, because that's what they call us. Because we're not no blacks. Black is the color of your hair. Black is the color of the brother's shirt. We're not that. There is not a such thing as a black person on earth. There is not a such thing as a white person on earth. There is nobody walking around the color of this. Y'all think somebody's crazy out here. There are actually brown people. There's pink or red people, <laughs> according to the Bible. Gosh. Now check this out. This is what God said. I got, well, we're going to see how God feels about us. Let's go to Deuteronomy 76. Because it's very important that we realize who we are. Because if we don't realize who we are, we ain't going to know where we're going. And you sure don't know what's the next thing to happen in this country, according to the Bible. Because mm. Christ ain't came back yet. And you're still living biblical prophecy right now. That's right. As a matter of fact, with me and my beloved it. brothers, right now, as we stand in here, we're actually fulfilling prophecy in Ezekiel 37. Well, we starting to remember who we are and coming back to bid uh, our people back to the marriage because right. the covenant was made for you or uh -huh. with you. Y'all are still under a covenant. We are still under a covenant to this day, and we don't know it. And long as they can keep us in sin, the long as they can keep us not knowing who we are, the longer they can run this world, and uh -huh. it's going to continue to happen until we wake up. It's on us. That's it's right. all on us. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is what God said about us. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy. The word holy means separate. Special. God separated us from the very beginning. Like he separated Adam. Hey, he separated uh, Abraham. Right? Noah. Abram. Noble. Noah. Yep. yep. Separated. Every time, every time God picks somebody, he always separates them. That's he right. Said, For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. 
the, the Lord thy God, God have chosen, chosen thee. thee. God has chosen who? You. Thee. To be a special, special people. people. Ooh, we. It's something special. It's not like everything else. It's something special. It's, 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 it's set apart. Mm, a peculiar people. Let's go. Unto himself. Oh, unto himself. Above all, all people. people. No, that didn't. The Bible didn't say that God's chosen people is not above all. It said equal to. Above, above all people. No, that Bible said below. Above, above all, all people. people. God said. Who said that? God said. This guy said. That's right. right. Oh, no, no, no. I got to be making this up. Right. Say that one more time. Above all people that are upon the, the face, face of the earth. Of the earth. God that's said right. above all people upon the face of the earth. He chose us, and that's why he gave his laws, statutes, and commandments to, to us to be a holy nation, to be a priest to all the other nations. We're supposed that's to go right. out and teach the Bible to, to teach the other nations like the Chinese man that's not right. to eat the octopus. Put right. that bat down. Smack. Smack it out the hand. We ain't supposed to eat that. Right. We were supposed to teach all the other nations. Homosexuality? Right. Nope. No. Nope. That ain't us. That's not even in our spirit. But guess what happened? When we got away from God, well, we were we also the ones that was building the golden calf. But every time we went around the other nations God left there, he said, I'm going to leave them there to be a snare or a trap. And we start following behind them. And that's then, right. And you know, we go into captivity to them. That's and right. guess what? That's why we're here today. Hey, give me that um, uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Oh, okay. Well, that's the, the remembrance. Uh, the, the stranger that is within thee shall get up high, Come. and that shall get up low. Come. Hey, hey, Joseph. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, just yeah, just drop him off and come back. Yeah, you yeah. can go in there. Hey, my bad. My bad. My bad. The zeal of the Lord was upon him. <laughs> now we have a lot of uh, family here, he can sit back and they don't come inside here doing nothing. Look. The crab in the barrel affect that full, full flourishing here. The destruction of our people to go against our own. I got one for you. Go ahead, bring it out. Second Ezra, chapter 6, 15, verse 36. Bring it out. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Facts. Facts. So no, we're not breaking any laws. We're on public property right here, which is the sidewalk. We know that we're in our rights to the fullest. And I know y'all hate that we out here reading the Bible. But guess what? One of these days, you laugh now. But one of these days, you better hope this Bible ain't real. You laugh, mock, laugh, have a good time. You better believe it. That day is going to come that they don't want to hearken. He's going to help them out. To see, that's how destroyed we are as a people, man. Because now it's like when we got out of slavery, like when we was in slavery, it happened the same way. You had the house niggas, right? The house niggas always hated the field niggas. You know what I'm saying? They always was like, hey, you ain't finna do that. I'm finna tell Massa. So now even to this day, it's like they don't have to. White people don't have to do anything to us. We'll do it to ourselves. We'll raise our, hey, I got you, Massa. I'm going to come out there. I'm going to go make them stop it. Stop talking about the Bible. Stop trying to tell our people who they are in the Bible, besides being a crayon. Let we don't want to be more than a crayon. Yeah, yeah. If I was uh, out here, if I had uh, translucent skin, then none of this probably would happen. But as soon as I come out here, around my brothers and my sisters, that hatred pops up. Like, hey, I got to stop that. Got to stop that. Oh, they, oh, man, they got them posted up right here. Yeah, you can set them up. Well, shoot. Well, we can learn together. Hey, we, we're not your enemies. Believe that. We are not. We are not. We are here for you. All praise to the most high, man. Brother. We are. Can we, I say something Go ahead. Quick? Bring it out. Right. And, and this is not a, a person. Yeah, well, I did the I am. He got the street fire. FBI, they be having my phone tap. Look outside. CIA, they got my home tap. I keep it so real, y'all got to feel me. I'm the conspiracy theory, man. They got to kill me. Yeah, well, I did the I am. Counselor of the people. So when I'm speaking in Hebrew, I want to make it sense.